Hello guys and finally welcome to a new video, it's been quite some time since my last upload, I've been busy in my job, then I went for a vacation, caught a flu, couldn't really speak and you wouldn't believe it all of a sudden 3 months have passed. But I'm back with a new tutorial, this time we will be making completely procedural microchip in what is called a dual inline package format. I am using version 3.6 as the latest stable release and uh, you can use this tutorial even if you are using an older version for whatever reason that is as uh, there are no nodes or uh, procedures specific uh, to this current release. I believe uh, all versions 3.x should be safe to use. And now without any further ado, let's get started. Let's start new file, select the default cube, go to the modifier tab, add a new modifier, geometry nodes modifier, click new and let's name it microchip. Now, in the uh, geometry nodes layout, let's uh, let's uh, align the workspace a little bit to have the maximum area for the geometry nodes. And uh, for the moment, we can separate the connection between the input and output. Now, let's uh, replace the cube uh, that we just deleted. So let's add a cube node and plug in the mesh into the geometry socket of the group output. Select the group input. Let's uh, unhide the side panel, go to the group, we can delete the geometry as we won't need it. And uh, now let's add uh, some uh, input to it. Uh, first of all it will be an integer, let's call it pin count, that's the num total number of pins uh, on the chip. Default for that will be 12. Uh, minimum uh, let's go with 4 and uh, maximum we can go to 96, something like that, that's a pretty high number. Okay, let's uh, also adjust the value in the in the modifier tab. Now let's add a new uh, new one uh, uh, float float uh, input and uh, subtype with distance. Name is pin distance or span between the pins. So default for it will be 2.54 millimeters. Uh, minimum. Uh, let's uh, just copy and paste the minimum. Or write it. Uh, you have to write it without the units, otherwise it won't. Uh, it won't take it. Maximum. Let's just copy the minimum value, paste it, and multiply it by two. Okay. Let's add uh, another one. It will be uh, chip height. This will be the input for chip height. Uh, the default value will be three point twenty four millimeters. So the same value uh, will go to the minimum value, 3.24. As you see, uh, when you paste it, including the unit, uh, it won't it won't work. So you have to you have to write a unitless number. Maximum will be uh, something like one centimeter. We can go pretty high with it. You can experiment with it what you what you like. Uh, the next uh, next input will be chip width. It will be 7.62 millimeters, so the default value will be 7.62. Let's uh, enter it here, 7.62 millimeters. The same will go for the minimum of the of this value, 7 7.62, uh, and the maximum again. I will go with double of the minimum value, so somewhere around 0 0.15. So let's uh, actually update the values, the actual values, pin distance 2.54 millimeters, chip height uh, 3.24, uh, chip width is the 7.62 millimeters. Okay, uh, yet uh, another parameter that we will need will be capsule, uh, capsule flat part. And uh, that one will be 0 0.5 millimeters. It's the it's the middle section of the of the chip that is uh, that is straight. Okay, minimum will be the same, and uh, maximum uh, maximum we can go with uh, something like two millimeters. I believe that uh, that will be more than enough of a span. Okay, let's just copy the default value and paste it to the actual value. So. Uh, we can start. Uh, we can start plugging in uh, the the sockets of the cube. We will have to use a combine X Y Z node to to get access to the individual components of the vector. The Z uh, Z axis will be the straight uh, capsule flat part. We can connect it directly. The same goes with chip width. That goes to the X axis. And for the y-axis, we will have to calculate it from the pin count and pin distance. First of all, we will divide the pin count by 2 or multiply it by 0 0.5. Uh, 
uh, that will get us a number of the pins on uh, one side of the chip. Then uh, we will have to multiply the result by the pin distance and that will give us a total length of the chip. So let's just connect the multiply multi multiplications together and the pin distance and the output will go to the y uh, to the y axis. Let's select the object and hit the F key to get get the get the capsule into the frame. And what we have to do next is uh, select the top and bottom part and extrude them. How will we do it with a extrude mesh node? So let's search for it, extrude mesh. Uh, let's plug it, uh, plug it between the cube and the group output, and this uh, this extruded pretty much everything. So first, uh, first let's uh, let's calculate the offset scale, and that will be calculated from the chip height and the capsule flat part. So uh, we will subtract the capsule flat part from the chip height, and uh, then uh, then we will have to divide the result by two, or again multiply it by 0 0.5 to to obtain half of the half of the height uh, for top and uh, and bottom extrusion. So let's plug it into the offset. You can see now it's uh, now it's extruded correctly. And now we just need to we just need to uh, select which uh, faces we want to extrude. So uh, I will use a uh, a compare node, and uh, it will be it will be compared uh, face ID against an integer value that I will identify the face with. So let's plug in the index into the A slot. Then uh, you have the list of the indexes, and let's try which ones we need to extrude. So number zero is obviously the bottom face. Number one is the front face. We don't want that. Number two is the top face, which is what we want. So uh, it will be we will be extruding uh, number zero and number two. So let's duplicate the uh, the equal node or the comparison with equal mode, and uh, let's write here zero and uh, two. And uh, now to connect the result, we will use a boolean math with uh, with uh, or. So let's connect the sockets, and uh, plug in the result into the selection. Voila, we have the top and bottom face extruded. Now we have to taper the top and bottom face. We will do that with a scale elements uh, node. So let's add a here a scale elements node. Plug it between the extruded mesh and the group output. Let's hide the let's hide the side panel. The selection will be the same as it's the top and bottom face. So let's just replug it. Replug in the selection, and the scale will be at 0 0.91. Uh, it looks okay, but the problem will come here if we go high with the pin count. Uh, it will become apparent that the scale on the y-axis uh, is not uh, not okay. So we will have to we will have to split the scale for x and y-axis. We can do it by changing the mode of the scale to single axis. So the first scale elements will work on the x-axis. That uh, that can stay at 0 0.91. That will be constant. Let's uh, duplicate the scale elements node. Plug in between the between the first scale and the group output. Replug the selection. And uh, now, uh, now we just need to figure out the figure out the scale. Okay, so the axis here has to be on the y, and we just have to figure out the the scale. Let's change the pin count to six. That uh, that makes the chip uh, square, and the the scale is the same on the x-axis as it's on the y-axis. Now, if we change the pin count to twelve. We should uh, we should uh, halve the value. In case of six pins, we subtracted 0 0.09 from one. If we double that uh, to 12, we should subtract half of that value. That means 0 0.045 from one, and that will give us 0 0.955. And the slope or the angle is the same now on the y and on the x-axis. So let's take a look on it, how we can calculate it. Uh, 
we have uh, two set of coordinates or two set of variables for x and y. x is the pin count, y is the subtracted number. For uh, 6 pins we are subtracting 0.09, for 12 pins we are subtracting 0.045. The higher the pin count, the lower the subtracted number. That is actually a inverse proportion with uh, equation of y is equal uh, k slash x. So uh, we can substitute the letters here. Uh, y is 0.09 9 x is uh, 6 and we have an unknown variable k uh, so let's just multiply both sides of the equation by 6 we will get 0 0.09 multiplied by 6 is equal to k and k is uh, 0 0.54 so let's return to blender and for the scale so we have to adhere a subtraction so subtract uh, we will be Oh, no, I don't want to clump it. Uh, from 1, we will be subtracting a value of uh, pin count. So let's add here a math uh, divide. So we have to divide, the, but it's connected wrongly. I want it in the bottom slot. So here will be the value 0 0.54, and it will be subtracted from 1. So it's uh, 0 0.54 divided by pin count and then uh, subtract it from 1 and we can uh, enter here a value of 96 and the angle will stay the same. So this problem is solved. Let's return to something reasonable like 12 pins. And uh, now what we will do is to add a notch, a cylindrical notch or a cutout in uh, front of the of the of the capsule so let's add here a cylinder okay uh, reduce the vertices to 16 radius will be 0 0.0 uh, uh, 0.75 millimeters i can write it write it like that and let's actually plug the mesh to a viewer node uh, so we can see it okay now we have to figure out the depth and uh, it will be it will be uh, half of the let's uh, let's just uh, disable that uh, it will be half of the height of the of the capsule so uh, let's add here uh, another group input node so we have it uh, right here at our hand so we have to use uh, we have to divide the chip height by 2 or multiply it by 0 0.5 so let's add a multiply node here and plug it into the uh, into the depth. Now let's take a look at it. And uh, what we have to do next is to move the move the cylinder so that that its uh, bottom part stays uh, on the right on the zero z axis or at the world origin. So let's adhere a uh, transform node, transform geometry node. Okay. The translation uh, vector we have to use a combine x y z to have uh, access to the individual coordinates. So the translation in the z-axis will be one, uh, one half again of the, of the cylinder height. So let's uh, multiply this value by 0 0.5 again and plug it into the z-axis. Now, uh, let's actually hide it and we have to transform the cylinder to the front of the to the front of the capsule and uh, that is actually uh, the calculated length that we have uh, here from the pin count and the pin distance and uh, again one half of that so let's add here a multiply node by 0 0.5 and that's on the y-axis uh and why don't we see it because we don't have it here okay so that's at the end but i want it on the other side so let's just uh let's just multiply it by minus 0 0.5 instead of 0 0.5 okay now we can hide the viewer remove the viewer node and uh to join these two geometries together let's just uh quickly quickly adjust the nodes a little bit so we I don't have it crossed the lines too much. Well, probably maybe this way, I think. Okay, and uh, let's use a um, uh, mesh boolean node to combine these two or to subtract the cylinder from the uh, from the capsule. So the 
the capsule will be mesh 1, the cylinder will be mesh 2, and if we plug it into the geometry output, we have the cutout here ready. Now uh, let's address the shading of the, of the capsule. So let's add here a set shade smooth node. This will uh, make it completely shade, the entire geometry shaded smooth. That's not what we want. And I will utilize uh, something similar, similar like uh, auto smooth. Um, I will use an edge angle attribute of the geometry and everything that has uh, an angle less than uh, 30 degrees will get shaded smooth. So let's add here a edge angle node. Uh, I will use a signed angle uh, and uh, pass it through a uh, math node uh, with uh, absolute value that will give us an absolute value of the angle. It's uh, not the same thing as the unsigned angle. So now I have to add a uh, compare node and I will be comparing the comparing the the ang edge angle, the absolute value of the edge angle that is less than uh, 30 degrees. Uh, we cannot plug in or write in uh, 30 degrees uh, uh, right away. We have to convert it to radians. So uh, let's search for two radians and it's actually a math node set to set to, to radians uh, mode or conversion and the angle will be 30 degrees. And now we can uh, plug the selection and we will get the inside part of the cylinder shaded smooth. And the last thing to do is to get rid of these sharp edges with a bevel modifier, uh, change the amount to 0.05 millimeters, uh, the number of segments increase to 3 and that will make the geometry much more pleasant for the eye. Now back in the geometry nodes, uh, let's uh, change the pin count to 4 to make sure that everything stays in place with a variety of the chip lengths and uh, it seems to work uh, quite okay. So let's return the pin count to 12 and uh, back in the geometry nodes, let's select uh, everything except for the group output, uh, unhide the side panel and in the node wrangler extension, by the way, you have to enable it in preferences, uh, in uh, add-ons, search for node wrangler and uh, make sure that it's enabled. Uh, click frame selected and then in the node tab, uh, let's uh, label this a capsule. And with the capsule finished, that is where we will wrap it for today. We will continue in the next part with the pins, so make sure to hit that subscribe button to get notified when the next part of the tutorial is online. Thank you for watching and see you at the next video.